Craig, a 1-1 draw with Geisler here tonight at the Windsor Food Service Stadium. Just sum up your thoughts on the, the performance as a whole. Uh, I think it was just a poor game all round, if I'm all honest. I think both sides, uh, I think at 0-0 are probably the most boring game going. I don't think either side caused a threat to, to either, either of us. Uh, Probably the most disappointing thing for me is that we managed to get ourselves and there's nose in front and then just gifted a goal too easy, way too easy. Uh, again, you know, not like us, uh, but, you know, we just didn't seem to have a spark tonight, just didn't seem to uh, get get ourselves going. Uh, and that's my point, really. If you, you know, sometimes when you're not playing well and sometimes when things are not going well for you in a game, I mean, you've managed to get your, your nose in front, you've got to look after them points and manage the game a little bit better and I don't think we did that but all in all look you know it's, it's a point on the board and another step forward in, in a direction. You said about not having that spark do you think what do you think contributed to that why do you think it didn't really click into action for us? I just think I just think overall tonight we're just a little bit flat I do I will give them credit on the second half performance I think they came out and, and, and up the levels uh, but you know the first half just didn't get on the ball quick enough, didn't move the ball quick enough, didn't get into the pockets that we normally do, you know, overloads, various things. Um, and, you know, it, it, it was just a flat game, I think a flat game all around. It, it, in many ways, it felt, in the first half for me, it felt like a friendly. Uh, and uh, in the second half, we did get ourselves going. Uh, but, like I said, you know, when you get yourself, you know, in the front, you've got to keep that lead and things are not going well. We didn't. Even when they went down 10 men, you know, I, I still think we often puffed and not really did anything that caused their goal as any great threat. So it's just one of those days, you know, it's one that we move on and uh, back in Thursday and we regroup and go again. Obviously, the guys they brought some sort of game plan with them. They were playing out from the back and then once they did go on, uh, good, a man down, they did really shut off really well. Do you th did you think that? Yeah, I don't think they caused any problems with playing out from the back. I think, to be honest, we kind of encouraged it a little bit uh, and tried to set a little trap. I, I don't think that causes any problems. I think, yeah, it's difficult when they did go down to 10 men. They asked for adapt. Obviously, they defend a lot lower and get a lot more bodies behind the ball. But, you know, I think they had as much chances down to 10 men than we had chances. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think their game plan affected us how we, how we played. It just wasn't our day-to-day, -day, just didn't get it right. Uh, but, you know, we, we move on. It's another game and another point on the board. And, and like I said, we move on from this. Obviously, Vaughan got the, the penalty, um, scored it. Uh, he's been in a good run of form. And again, we've, we're utilising him in, in absence of Huser. Um, again, how do you think he's, he's coped recently with, with having that sort of number nine spot in, in the style of your side? Yeah, I think he's done really well up there. You know, there's no doubt we, we're missing one of the big lads up there. And, you know, when you've got your the league's most prolific goal scorer, you know, not fit at the moment. It, it does affect us, it does affect us how we play, but that's no excuse. We have to adapt, we have to look to adapt, and Vaughan's done an unbelievable job up there in 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 in, in being able to adapt and, and help us out up there. You know, let's not forget, you know, he's, he's, be, he's starting the eight and tens this season, early doors, and, and has been probably one of our best players, and and scoring goals, you know, from, from all over the pitch, so... Um, he, wherever I have to play him, he, he does the job and he's doing a job up there for us at the minute in time. But we can't just keep relying on him. We've got to get bodies back fit now. And we've got to, you know, get that, you know, vital key cog in in our system. You know, in back in place. So, you know, we can we can help everyone out. Obviously, you mentioned one of the the, the cogs being up front. Uh, one of them cogs that slips into place is Jim Hansen. Obviously, got some minutes uh, after a long time out. How good was it to get him back, uh, actually on the pitch instead of just in and around the squad? Yeah, we're good to get him back on the pitch. It's vital that we get him fit quick. To be honest with you, he's, he's got, he'll have a vital part coming up now. So it's down to him to work hard and, and get his body in place and get himself there. But you know, you can see when he's on the pitch, it brings even the last five ten minutes it brings a different dimension to us and, and lets us play in certain ways when we need to play certain ways. And, uh, and puts pressure on the opposition when you've got someone that's six foot five you know you're trying to defend them you know it, it's not an easy task to do uh, so it's pleasing to get him back on the pitch and we've just got to now make sure that we get him fit with help from himself and determination from himself for us all to to get him healthy and get back on the pitch and get firing obviously now we move as ascension to saturday i'm pretty sure everyone that might be watching is like let's talk about saturday now um what are your thoughts going into that? Obviously, probably the last two games are probably not what you have wanted going into a game like that. But what are your thoughts initially? Well, I think 
I think the I think the games the last two games go out the wind. I think look at the season as a whole and as a whole the, the side's been magnificent from from start to finish. So, you know that's why we're in this position on Saturday. We've got to go there. We've got to enjoy it. But we've also got to be competitive as well. Uh, you know we've got huge respect for Stockport and and their managers and what they're achieving so far. And you know good luck to them in the season. I hope they go on and and do extremely well and be extremely successful. But. You know, hopefully not Saturday, but we've got to come up with a game plan, and we have a game plan that we've got to now get into the lads Thursday, get them prepared, which takes them into Saturday. That gives us, you know, hope, gives us hope to to achieve something, achieve a dream, and you know, achieve a, a positive outcome. What are your thoughts on on Stockport as a side? Obviously, you touched on there, on there, but um, Dave Chowan has got some playing some really good football, especially in the last few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, like I said, we've had him watch twice. Uh, you know. The video footage is not short when you're at that level as well. So you know we know they play good football. We know the you know the, they like to get bodies forward and we know score a lot of goals. So you know it's, it's don't get me wrong, it's a difficult task. But you know we've got threats as well. You know we've got threats and we've got to try and impose them on 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 them and try to cause them a few problems and and uh, and make sure that we go there. Yes, it, 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 it's it's you know it's 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 a good occasion. It's a it's a it's a big task, but we've got a football game to play, and uh, for me, the occasion and the game goes out the window until after the 90 minutes. We've got a game to try and do, and we'll prepare exactly like we do every single week, and and we'll go see what we can do. Asking yourself for a game, how you prepare a side, and we aren't giving anything away anyway. Mentally, from that point of view, how do you to get your side up for for a game like that and not get too either too ahead of yourselves or take the nerves on too much what, how are you going to prepare you, prepare yourself in the dressing room beforehand prepare myself like any normal game for me uh, yeah it's uh, I'll address the players see what they're feeling like you know I, I kind of like to observe uh, and see the reaction of them, see how they're feeling and, and, and various things, I get a, little, a few little hints and a few bit of vibes but I think my job is just to make sure that I keep everyone calm and keep everyone focused and, and like I said, fo main, mainly to focus on the game and not the occasion so that's the key thing for us uh, and, uh, and, and, and I, I can guarantee you we'll be in a good mindset come Saturday. Moving into the occasion, then, if we if we are to talk about it, um, from the, pan, the fans' perspective, obviously, we're going, we've, you know, continuing to sell out blocks, um, the excitement's already building. Uh, what have you sort of have you got a message for them going into Saturday to get them really, you know, roaring like they can, like we know they can? Be loud and proud. Uh, yeah, just go there and, and make as much noise as I can. Have a great day and a great, a great occasion for them. Get behind us because we're going to need their support. We're going to need that 12th man. Uh, and, and, and go and enjoy the day and uh, try and cheer us on the best I can and, and, and get behind us in all circumstances, which they always do. And let's uh, you know try and try and make it, like I said, a, a positive day. Uh, you know, with all the help that, that they can give us. And finally, how what will the occasion mean to to you having your family there for the players as family? How much are you looking forward to it? And it's sort of something completely different in the the Craig Parry era that we're, we're looking forward to. Yeah, it's obviously vital, you know, having your family there and the players' family. I, I said for minute one, getting them to the first round of the, the FA Cup was an ambition of mine since I first started in management, especially in the lower leagues. Uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to do it for, for my own family, for my own kids to experience that, but not just for that, I think the club, from the chairman, from the committee play, uh, members, you know, all the way down to the volunteers, the players, everyone involved. Everyone's got families, everyone's got to enjoy this occasion and, you know, and, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's a vital act to do Saturday and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, I'm sure it's going to be a special day, but one now we've got to be professional about and start focusing it from a professional front and start getting his mindset on it, on, on how we can, like I said, achieve, uh, you know, should we say a miracle or dream? I don't know, uh, but, you know, we're all confident, we're all positive and, we, you know, we try to keep it positive and, uh, and we're going there with positive hope and a game plan. So, you know, let's see where that takes us.